Francis Ngannou. Ready. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course. It's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his equipment hurt very bad. So many different oh. things right now. He's got him hurt here. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. He loaded up there on that high kick. Big punch lands through the middle. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Francis Ngannou. into that leg kick. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Barboza's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Beautiful body kick. You better get that elbow down or he's going to keep blasting those body kicks right to your ribs. Oh, and he caught the kick. What a punch. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, jab splits the guard beautifully there. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening. Oh! He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. So a strong five minutes down. So there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. All right, round two is here. Edson Barboza Ready, and Ready. Francis Ngannou. Ganu's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on him. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Right hand has been there at times, not that time. Blocks the shot. Caught the kick. Real nice body kick lands. Barboza gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, Jack. Oh!
Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knock. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the world. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. 